it sent all that stuff up into the atmosphere. And as all those little bits and pieces started coming down, they started generating friction, which generates heat, which created an infrared pulse, which actually raised the air temperature around the planet to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or so. So basically it's an oven on broil. So even though this was like very bad locally, we had a lot of local effects like mega tsunamis and things like that. It really was, if even if you're on the other side of the planet, this would have affected you 66 million years ago. And it was survival by literal inches. If you could get just maybe about three inches underground, that was enough to buffer the effects of the heat or underwater. But then you have to survive through the impact winter where ecosystems are collapsing because plants are dying. So this is really kind of amazing that anything was able to survive this. About 75% of species that we know that were alive at the end of the Cretaceous uh, perished basically within the space of about three years, which is incredibly quick for a mass extinction.